how's our, how's our magic carp jam doing? It's not too loud, I hope. It's supposed to be just background music. I think I was turning it down here. Alright. For real lol, for real is it loud? I'm going through like eight different I gotta turn down on YouTube, we gotta turn down Oh for real magic herb, yeah. Yes, exactly, it is big big magic carp or magic carp pay as they say somewhere else. I guess it's a supposedly basic no glue, no tools, no paint, no service. I will have, I got tools, I will not paint it. I have some like metallic paints and an airbrush and stuff, but Magikarp's orange. I only have like metallic red, so maybe. This seems like big and simple that I could go back and like spray paint them when I'm done or airbrush them. But this is what uh, it looks like here. Don't have the reflection of the, my new fancy, it's got a ring light on it webcam pretty much just for this stuff I used the unboxing tag so I think I have to I'm legally re legally required to look it up it's in French and stuff so I'm assuming this is like technically Canadian distributor or something big size baby 200 millimeters snap by hand oh we shall not be doing that Carp, carp. All right, let's. Um, I have a cutter here. I'll just let that fall on the floor. Sure. Magic carp. Magic carp. Don't know what you expected, but that's what we got. We got these are some big chunky pieces. It says big, big koi kingu. That's right. I'm just gonna kind of take them all out and lay it about here. Let's. Parts of them, yeah. Can you see it? Big Koi Kingu. Translator's note, Koi Kingu means magic carp. He's just like the king of the carps. Whoa, let me just smack my mic. Scary, like, oh, face. So those are all the orange bits. Instructions. And then the rest. Crystal bag sound. Crystal, crystal. <laughs> I don't know if I like the looks of this piece. I don't know what just fell. Two, two dots. Are this like for his eyes, maybe? Oh, maybe, yeah. The whites of his eyes. Well, I can paint that in. Come on, now. So we've got, well, it looks like all his fins, his eyes. Is this going to be his, like, tongue? That's... Magikarp lips. Hmm. And these are his fins. And I guess this is the base. This belonged to us. Here's the instruction manual. Bam. 
He's water type, in case you didn't know. Look at the instructions. Snap out the pieces. Fit. They just go together. Look closely at the shape and assemble the parts. How to place how to place stickers. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Place the stickers carefully, but lining up in the shapes. How to display. So that's what he's going to look like when he's done. He's going to have a little... Place it on his pedestal. Watch over its splashing pose. Well, I guess if I don't put it on the pedestal, it can be like he's... Guilty Gear Strive, huh? Now, consarn it, brass of frassin, bibbity bop. I changed this stupid stream information like three times. <laughs> um, stream info. Thank you. Thank you, Zyber. Fighting action. Well. Techno. I'm going to put that as a tag, too. <sighs> yeah, it was like I edited the stream info, and then as soon as I started the stream, it was like, here's all your stuff. Twitch doesn't control us, I swear, right? Like, oh, you didn't check the fifth set of options that we have in here? Because that's where we really look. So sorry if you were coming here to... See me play some May action. We don't have any dolphins today. Just the magic carp. Uh, <clears throat> Check the parts list on the back. Yeah, looks like I got all those. And start assembling. Hey. My um alert box seems to be up at the top layer, but I'm assuming that meant you were hosting. Thank you. Give me the host. Thank you so much. You going to bed soon? Well, I don't know what you're up to today, so. And it is 10 something your time, so. Oh, so that's his face? Gotcha. That spooky, like. I saw it as, like, eyes and a mouth. It's really. Eye. And then, like, whiskers or something. Been out basically all day. Will you enjoy your rest? I don't know if I'll post pictures of this anywhere, but it'll be up. There'll be VODs. You can see. I like how it's like asking, does it does it look the same as what the picture tells you? Alright, <clears throat> this doesn't seem too bad, so I also have a GBA cart that I set up and I got a Mayflash adapter for my switch. So I can play Mushihime Sama with a stick. Does it give you Tate mode? Tate mode? Didn't realize it's already nine. I'ma look for good. I'ma look for good, so I'll be quiet. I'm a lurk. I'm assuming for good. I can run to the screen, but you know I'm stream it. Food law. Very cool. Um Gary, you eat, chillax and eat your food. We do not eat magic carps in this house. Zyber, you have a good night. I'm going to sit here and rock out. And if Daddy Harada, whoever, Tekken team, mutes my VOD, oh well. This is like a precursor, because then I've got, if this literally takes 10 minutes to do, I've got like a Mega Man kit that I'm going to try to I've got some like two-tone Pimp My Ride special paints, and I can try and maybe prep that while I have everything out and about. But let's start with, uh, I guess let's <clears throat> clean up a little bit here. Just pile. I don't think I'm going to need a set of hand drills for this magic park, so probably just nippers and some manners of filing thinky dog so I guess we just find piece B1 and C1 uh, D <clears throat> here's B 
B1, this big shoe thing right here. Now, let's say, like, literally I can just... I guess technically I could just... We're going to try to cut them out. Wow. They probably tried to make it as, like, thin as possible so that it literally just, like, collapse in your hand. <clears throat> like, how does that... Yeah, this is no big crazy burrs. I'm not really going to get too concerned. And then C1, which is another orange piece, which I think was over here. Oh, it's this thing right here. Yeah, until I know what these pieces are and where they fit, I'm not going to, like, fret too much. I need to spend two hours on a magic carp. No offense to magic carps. Can't really tell where the part was. And I could like try to sand it, but I might like just make it worse. Like, let me just like I can feel that, so I'm just gonna. I don't want to like sand it too much, and now I have like a big like mat piece that you can see or something. All right, so according to this thing, I'm looking at it like that. And then this piece goes in. Slides into this like part right here. So that's view from the side. So if I'm looking at it, and then the looks like that. So it could be like this, but it's like that, because this little part where it's going down is where it's at. And I think you just go like, ta-da. Well, there you go. And then you get C3, which is this part. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. Imagine that. Yeah, this little like clip taken out part goes here. And it just goes in. It's not flush on this side. Again, I don't know what this even is. <clears throat> Next up, we get part B4, which looks like his head assemblies. Literally this big chunk. Oh, did that just pop off? Look at that, okay. So if I get a cool, like, orange color, I'm going to come back and like, sand it and do everything. These little parts are what I'm kind of like, hmm, do I want to do anything with that? Probably just make them look worse. Let's watch if I like. Try to like buff up this little part here. I just kind of made it even worse. So, again. I could try to use my exacto knife here and like very slowly after I drop my I could try to just like whittle it off. It's 
what little teeny tiny bits there is like sticking out. Not much coming off though. Yeah, just cutting into this magic carp. So we're not gonna do that. <clears throat> so we've got our magic carp head, and then we take the white part A4. Eight, A4 is right here. Wah, 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 wah. View from the side. Okay, so this little part right here is what's coming out. Weird how they just put it to like have like here's a view from the side, and then you like rotate it around and put it in this. So this little nub here is supposed to be looking like this. And then it goes into his Oh what? Am I supposed to cut this part off? This is B4, right? It has to be. It has to be. I didn't mention anything about cutting out that like eye socket. Yeah. Pretty sure you have to, right? Remove the runner shown in the illustration. Oh, yeah, duh. It's literally written right there. Okay. Interesting that, like, the way this was injection molded, it was only on one side. Hmm. I guess I can just kind of rotate and pull that one out because it's a little too, because of it's a, being a circle, I think we'll just rotate it. All right, now we're back in business. So the eye facing this way and then this part right here like so. I guess they just say it just slides in. Kind of. I guess, you know, there he is. There's no like, like a satisfying click or anything. It's just kind of in there. <clears throat> but I would probably paint this super glossy white. If I didn't do like a gold or something, if I wanted to do a matte, but fish are kind of, you know, glossy themselves. All right, now the other a, the other eye. Uh, same thing. Doesn't really like slide in, it just kind of fits in there. And it kind of stays in place. I wonder if I do it better. Oh, there we go. And now this feels a little bit more secure. Oh, it did like click now. Okay. Put, put, put. And then we take <clears throat> down here, this part just kind of goes together. It's actually this part. So 
somehow it fits together. Oh, I had this upside down. That's why. These little, like, guide things are on both sides. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got it's like a reinforced head, magic carp, head. parts here. Check view from the front. It's supposed to be like a little hole that you can see and it's right there. So, okay, cool. Now we're making looks like his lips. Part A5 and A1 and they go together. A1 is this like maroon color looking thing. Ooh. And they said five. Okay, it's this tongue. That's a rough little. Let's see if I can't fix that. That's a smidge. Much better. Okay. So according to this. Like this, and then the tongue piece with the nub facing up goes like so. Ta da! Check verification. Look on the back, and it looks like that. Oh, so that's like the inside of his mouth, just the color. And then we get A3, which are his magic carp lips. And it just goes in like this. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, like so. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let me just put it in there. Coming along. All right, now it looks like we're making his body. So parts C4 and a little teeny tiny bit C5. C4 and C5. Uh, here's C4. Oh, and then this little this little bit right here is five. I wonder what it's gonna. What's the purpose of it? So we've got it looking like this. And then it tells me to insert 
probably this little piece that helps guide these two pieces together. Is this piece symmetrical? It is. Looks like it just goes in like that. And then D from the side, the... What did I have it wrong? I had it wrong. Ha 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 ha. This be like this. And it goes in like that. And then they say make sure that the nub is flush on the left hand side, not this part here. So that's what that little thing right there is saying. And then view from the bottom. This little part sticking out. And it say this little part sticking out. So we're good. Now we just take the other side, C6, and put it back together, which is right here. Two, two halves. So this is just a little support, I guess, that connects these two right here. Next, we do the fin. So we E1 and E2, they just go together. This is dorsal fin. One and two. Did it break? Are these pieces supposed to be kind of flat like that? Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say, like, this seems like it's broken off. They can see how it's not like a complete rounded off edge, but then this part has like a a lip, if you can see. Uh, 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 uh. So I guess when it comes together, it has a nice rounded over edge. It's kind of a weird way of doing it. So I guess it like. if you can see the two parts are not entirely like it's got a little overhang part there weird all right and then this goes into this way and then we do the same thing with E4 and E3 Playing, well, I played Pokemon Tournament on Wii U. I didn't get the, the Switch version. What's that shadow, you ask? Why, this is a glass a can of zero sugar coke with coffee. It's either that or like my Honey Jack Daniels in a can type drink. And I didn't do that. I didn't feel like drinking that yet. That just kind of slots right in. 
Ta-da. Like weird. Like Mega Man. It looks like item one from like a Mega Man 2 almost. And as you can see here, now we just take the two bits. And oh yeah, just the ball. Make sure it's going in the right direction here. Yeah. The four spiky ones are the bottom and the three spikes are the top. He doesn't like have any articulation. So I can't make him like flop around. Go like whoa, 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 whoa. Cut, cut. Now a whole section for his. Oh, we gotta make his fins. His fins are two separate parts. So this first fin here is B2 and A6. And B2 with this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. B2. A6 with a white piece. Uh, a6. There we go. And then just looking at the instructions here. There's two little parts that this will just snap into, so, and there they are. Well, it's gonna be like this. Yep. And then, so this says Magic Carp faces me, and this little part goes in this hole right here. And it can move, that's cool. And then it's just F2 is just its own part. Uh, where is it over here? Like so. Now it just fits in because of that ball joint. It can just move freely. Same thing, B3 and A7 for the other parts for the spin. I was about to say, let's try not to drop this one. I did it anyway. That part just tore off and I don't like that. See, it's like a real nasty burr. So we're just gonna, nope, nope, nope. Ta-da. Nip it in the bud. This just clips in like this. Yo, Frozen 2 hype, and that Frozen 2 is perfect by another name. <clears throat> well, let me spam. It is indeed. Well, cool. Welcome to the Magic Heart Party. What are the. I got a bunch of weird, like. A bunch of random like gift subs like over the last like day or two. Cause I guess you can just get random. You know, if you're in a channel for like a second, if somebody does like a randomly gives subs, then you can like get it, even if you have it's like two days since, so Oh, 
I'll make sure I put this in the right way before I just... Hey, cool girl. Thanks for subscribing. And that's, again... That's a follow, right? No, no, no. That is a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. So that is frozen with the gift sub to Kogaru. That's how it goes. Nice. Hey, camera. Hey, camera. Catch me. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Cool. I forgot how many I need, but so I can just, you know, for me, it's just making more emotes. That's, I guess, the fun of Twitch. People are like, what channel? Where do I get that cool emote from? I was going to change my tier 3 one to something else. Something else kind of usable, like a, a wow face of some way, shape, or form. A pog, as the kids would say. Pog. 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 I wonder, do people in, like, New England say, like, pog champ? That was pretty pog. <laughs> pog. I mean, I, I guess you can hear it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have like a Midwest accent, so I'm just like pog. So I'm not like pog, pita, pita, pog champ. But my mouth is going kind of wide. With pog, 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 pog. Yes. Mm. Like, how do I set him now? Because he's, like, resting on the side. All right, so now we'll do his tail, which is just C2 and A2. This whole runner is done. Here's our piece. In Boston, they say Pog Champ. That's still, like... An accent that catches me by surprise. I don't know why. It's it's like I know it exists, but it's not like you're like, oh, I'm going to Texas, and they're gonna everybody's gonna be all like, yeehaw and stuff, you know. The first time, like I have to call somebody, and yeah, they're from like from Boston. I have to adjust real quick. I'm like, hmm, that's right. My like quintessential Boston accent video. I forget what it was. It was like a guy. He's a snowplow driver guy, and he was just like going off. I think he was just like plowing the streets and like burying all the. I think he got in trouble for it, but he's just like ha ha ha. You know, he's like laughing to himself. He's like, oh here you go. And I plow y'all in, but he was just like the most Boston sounding accent. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm the big dog. Don't mess with... I can't even do it because I'm awful at accents. But yeah, he's just like, don't mess with the big dogs. But he was like, big dog. Is this an, it seems like this is some... Met, there's a kind of a... I'm just trying to see, like, how is this actually different? This little, like, eh, it's like kind of a little lip on both of them. Oh, but there's only one lip on the bottom and two up here. Okay. But yeah, it does go like that. Accents are cool, though. Harmless. Like, I don't know how, like, Japan... Well, Japan's got, like, yeah, dialects for places that are, like... The size of a state. So you just imagine, like, if you crank that up, if there was, like, a whole... Dialect from people from, like, Montana or something. Tail in the hole. See, now, if Magikarp were, like, a mammal, it would be like that, right? Because don't they have, like, the... Their fish, like, whales, goes like this. But if they're, like, a, a 
fish or like a shark or something, then it's like this, right? If there's any marine biologists in the chat, please confirm. I like how this looks like magic carp, magic carp, magic carp. Oh, then make the base. Which looks like it's just G1, G2, and G3. Puts these three parts all together. I wonder if I can make like a cool base. Like I'm not good enough at crafting stuff yet. I got some like effects parts. I might go grab those real quick and like. Well, it won't look right from the top down view. I can go find like a pond or someplace and take pictures of him in the water. I haven't really taken any pictures in the last year or so. Partially because in the back of my mind, I knew I was going to be moving. So I was like, I don't want to like set this up and put it on the shelf and then, you know, move it. So I've had like everything I bought the last like six months is like sitting and waiting in boxes ready to be properly put out. But I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't want to go all the way to like, there's a larger lake by me, but it's kind of far. So if I can go to like a smaller place just so again if I can get a nice little shot of him like coming out of the water or something is this it place the model on this okay what was this part then Just like troubleshooting. Swap the parts to make the splashing pose. Wait, what? So that part. What is the difference here? D1, D2. Oh, oh, this whole, oh yeah, I just realized there's a whole separate section here. Uh, what? So I just make this again? Oh, let's just real quick. I'm just gonna no scope this, this 360. I look to my left and there's an entire like yeah, body assembly. It's like, hold on, what? Makes it like okay. Did you come in here? Do you know what this song is? Frozen, Kogero, anybody? Like, or you just think I'm just rocking out, jamming to the? We want air horns. Actually, have that. Okay, so yeah. Um, Copy this, duplicate, copy, paste, duplicate, okay. So this, yeah, this is the background that I got going on right now. This is a stage from Pokken Tournament for like the Switch. And the stage is called Magikarp Festival. 
and it's just on a big uh, fishing boat or whatever this is. So the fishermen are like pulling in magic carps and stuff, and they're flopping all over the stage the whole time you're you're fighting. And this is the track that plays in the uh, in that stage, and it was like. Like what? Excuse me? Like why does this song why is yeah, why does this magic harp stage have like the best track? And I was thinking to myself, like, oh if I ever do the uh magic harp kit online, I'm gonna play the magic harp festival song. Okay, so this thing it has to sit like a weird angle. It doesn't sit flush. It is like a kind of like that. Yeah, you didn't just come into into JT's club. Okay, so if you look, it is kind of at an angle here. But it's not just uh So if I were, well, I guess I could just just to see, because we've done made them already. So we put them on the the like weird stirrup thing, and it has a little like slot for his fin to go in, like that. He can sit like that. But I can apparently take this apart. Put in this body. Yeah, now he's kind of like jumping in a curve. Take off these bins. He just come right off. Yeah, if the YouTube or whatever had like free music as good as this, we'd all be good. We'd all be fine. I'm still going through it every once in a while and like trying to save the ones that I like. But they're always like weirdly like, I don't know, the moods are just different than what I'm looking for here. So that's what I did. I replaced his body and now... Okay, so now he's... On the ground, he's kind of flopping upwards, so he's kind of... He's not just laying flat, he's kind of... And they gave me two stickers to be his eyes. Well, I'm gonna find my tweezers for that. I need some precisions. At least until I paint them. I haven't painted them yet, so for now we got... Come on. I was like, where did it go? It was on my... There's actually kind of a thick piece of paper here this sticker is on. And you see it's kind of got a little focus there. A little indentation for where it should go. You can see it there now. So it's not just like I'm putting it there randomly. That doesn't look bad at all actually. I'd want one more stand so I can have him like kind of dynamic flop into his like magic carp jump. But still on a display stand would be cool.
Oh, there's the magic crap. There he is. Okay, face tracker. There we go. We're dancing here. Magic cart party. Bah, bah, bah. I'm gonna say if I try, well, maybe I can still put him on the stand. Okay, so yeah, he fits, and then from the top down, he's got a little. Oh, I don't like that little dot right there. It's gonna bug me. But yeah, that's what he looks like from the side. And I kind of can adjust his whiskers so if I want it to be like. But I think they're supposed to come down, right? If I look at the box. They're like going down. If I had like a N64 hand, well, I have two of them sitting right over here, but I don't have Pokemon Stadium with me right now, so I could just like put in the the mini games and play like the Magic Carp, 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 Carp mini game in the background the whole time. <laughs> Like that. He doesn't sit as well. But I still like how he's like, you know, more dynamic in this pose. Hello, 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 hello. I'm gonna go grab just to show you what I'm gonna plan to do, but I'm not gonna probably do it. It's just already been an hour, but we will see. Just a moment. Check it out. Hold on. Wait a minute. You can sit right there for now. Here's what I was talking about earlier. So I got I have multiple of these like Mega Man kits because I've made a lot. I can show you. Hold on. See, I've had these and made them for a while. This is what he looks like. His parts are all got moved around now, but it's a Mega Man. Pretty that's what a Mega Man looks like, right? And so I've they were kind of cheap. They're always like twenty, thirty bucks. So I bought a bunch and would like do different paint schemes for like the different. You know, you get a new weapon, it's a different Mega Man. So this, I think, was, like, item item 1, item 2, and stuff from, like, Mega Man 2. And then this is Top Spin from Mega Man 3, which I chose because it's just so, like, ugly, I guess. You know, it was, like, gray on yellow. Like, who thought of that, you know? But this was not airbrushed. This was years ago I did it. This is all... Uh, spray paint but now I've got airbrushes and things like that and I haven't tried it yet I've been like too afraid but I figured I've done this multiple times and I can do it again so I'm gonna do like another blue and light blue Mega Man here but I got these fancy paints from Turbo Dork And they're like 
two-tone color changing. So it's not just like a metallic paint, but depending on the light, it'll be a different color. Like it might be blue or purple or something. So I'm thinking... Like these two. You can kind of see it there, but it's not the same as like what it'll be in real life. But like this is like the light blue and this is uh, like a darker blue. So that's what I would use for these two colors here just to see how it looks. But I have to like put down a dark primer. It says specifically, it's like this must be done over over black so I gotta go get some black paint all the primer I have is white right now so that's the next thing and I might do that tomorrow or I might just like cut out all the parts not put them together but just kind of line them up so that they're ready to be spray paint and then uh, however long it takes to dry then I can do it and he only necessarily has yeah the dark blue like I could do the joints some of the pieces have like See how he has like orange joints there and I like went and Ooh, don't look in there. It's not completely Ooh, secrets. Some like the art books and stuff that are out there, they have like you can tell the joints were different, so I made sure I did that. So that is the plan for the Mega Man. And I was thinking, I was looking at this magic carp and I'm like, well he's nice and big, like can I can I do anything else to like really fancy it up like do some like panel lining just to make these like lines stand out I tried to buy a second one like I just have a, a standard one and then one that I did and painted like make them gold or just metallic looking or something again just to like put some color in these grooves there but it was sold out when I time I went back so We'll see. If I find another one, then I will mess with that. But for now, I just got a nice big Magikarp here chilling. So yeah, I think that's it for now. I uh, don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to jump on Guilty Gear and just play. But now I got all this in the way, so I actually probably couldn't because I got my arcade stick. We go right here. Um, but if we're going to try to cut out a Mega Man tomorrow, I might leave this for the time being. Um... Kogeru and I was talking there's like that Bomberman game that uh, a couple of people were playing I guess it's now it was like a new version before they just had like it was just Bomberman it was online and it didn't have much but now they made like Bomberman Online R which you know it's free to play and it's got like a season pass and it's all this type of stuff it's like Apex but Bomberman you know <laughs> it's like it's got seasons and leveling up and stuff like that and it's just it's a battle royale too and it's free. So I was like, maybe I can do that. Um, I would just switch on over to the computer and see how that runs. So I might test that out a little bit later. So if you have subscribed, you hit that bell notification, whatever the heck they ask you to do. Does it actually pop up? I've never really done it. Like I've, I don't tweet like, cause I, just, I would just have an account that's literally just a bunch of tweet notifications and that's that. But if there's like a thing that's like, hey, I'm online and I'm playing the Bomberman's wireless mouse. What am I even doing here? Oh, yeah, I was checking to see. I'll lay him down because he's doing a splash pose. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to clean this up here and uh, do something for us tonight. I don't think I'll have a stream to try and translate for or anything like that. So. Frozen, thank you so much for giving the gift of JT to Kogeru. Uh, and so now he has the, um, what is this? Oh, I didn't even know I had uh, Tane. So I can spam, spam some uh, freaking emotes here. Hell yeah. Magic Carp's too lewd. Speaking of Kogeru. <laughs> I'll never get it old. Hopefully, this pops right back in. So, very cool. Well, 
here is some love for everybody again. Thank you for chilling and hanging out. I will... Uh, I'll be back on probably tomorrow during the day, just cutting out these parts for a new Mega Man. And then sp maybe spray painting him black. I don't know, because I would have to, like, bring a webcam over to where I have, like, a, a fan set up. I don't know if I can physically do that yet, but we'll see. At least the cutting out and the chatting parts I'll try to do. So, in the meantime, uh, thank you all. Air horns for Magikarp Rave. And I will see you later.